Hi everyone, this is Neil from Light Pillar, and welcome to part 5 of the Mosaic video series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the second of two options that Mosaic provides for creating a layout. So let's take a detailed look at advanced layouts. Advanced layouts are for users who need absolute control over the position and size of their application windows. Mosaic achieves this using a system based on constraints. A constraint is a rule that governs a particular aspect of a window's position and size. It's important to note here that where basic layouts are based on a dynamic grid that automatically adjusts itself to any desktop resolution, advanced layouts can define a layout with absolute numbers. So if you switch between displays of different resolutions, be mindful that an advanced layout may be larger than the desktop you are currently running. Okay, so let's create a new advanced layout and take a look at the tools available. So from the plus button, select new advanced layout. Here you can see the default settings for an advanced layout. The most obvious reason to use an advanced layout is when you need a window to be a specific size. For example, playing a game or watching a video where you want a one-to-one -one, non-scaled view of the content. So now I'll run through a few examples and show you how to set them up. So let's start with a few obvious layouts. Let's create a 720p screen that wants to be 1280 by 720. We want it centered so we can leave these two options ticked and that's that layout done. Create another one, a 1080p screen. So that's 1920 by 1080 and there you go. So setting the width and the height is very simple. Now let's try adjusting some of the constraints. So to explain, the constraints here are all greyed out. That's because the layout is completely validated by these four boxes being ticked. Let's untick the width and see what happens. Now you can see that it's enabled the left and the right constraints. This is because Mosaic needs to know what the width of the window is. So it said, pin the left edge on the left side of the screen and pin the right edge on the right hand side of the screen. So it now knows that the width is the maximum width of your desktop resolution. So what we're setting here is the margin away from the edge of the screen. So let's put 100 pixels and 100 pixels. So you now see that the window is 100 pixels off each side of the screen. So with that in mind, let's create another example. This time we'll have a 600p screen and we want it to be in the top left. So we need the width back, we need to specify is 800 wide, 600 tall, and we want it to be zero pixels from the left. Now we don't want it vertically centered, we want it pinned to the top. So there we have an 800 by 600, which is pinned into the top left corner of your display. Let's create another one. This time we'll create it in the bottom. So we'll call this one 360p, and this will be 640 by 360. We don't want it centered. We want it off the bottom edge and the right edge. We don't want the top. Or the left. And there you go, that's put a 640 by 360 window in the bottom right hand corner. Now let's create a layout that doesn't specify specific width or height, it just uses the constraints to control the size. So create a new advanced layout and disable all of these options so it's just these four screen edge constraints are active. So I want a window to be 64 pixels from the top edge of the screen and 64 pixels from the left edge of the screen. But I want the bottom edge of the window to be exactly in the center. Now, because I'm on a Thunderbolt screen, I know that half of the screen is 1280 and half of the height 720. Now, this layout would work perfectly on my Thunderbolt 
display like so. But I can very easily make it flexible so this same layout works on a different resolution. Set it back to all screens and instead of using pixels, I can now use percent and just say 50% and 50%. So when the overall size of the desktop changes, it will automatically calculate where the bottom right corner of your window should be. All of these options, which you can mix and match together, give you an incredible amount of power to position your windows exactly where you need them. So that concludes my demonstration of advanced layouts. Next, we'll take a look at the workflow enhancing concept called layout groups. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.